Alrighty, as always, let's watch it in full. And there is sound. <laughs> I love how exaggerated the sounds are for a tiny move. Ready? <laughs> this cracked me up. It's all really cute. I like it. Shouldn't not a sound here. Now, there are some nerdy things that I love about this. That's why I picked this one. There's also actually a really good animation moment. And just topic wise, of course, I like it. I mean, come on, the classic NES, you got the Wii, you got the GameCube and a Super Nintendo. And I love like even just the set dressing, how it's contrasty. It's not all neat and stacked. And you know, there's a nice presentation regarding everything here. And as we go forward, Yep. And to me, it's always not just Metroid 4, but also I, I always say I would love a full scale, super expensive, super elaborate pixel art Metroid sequel. That'd be so cool. Now, animation wise, the only tiny thing I would say, and again, I feel weird saying all this because I am not doing set motion, so don't feel like I'm an expert uh, <laughs> in saying anything. It's also a pain to do. The only thing I would say, uh, go back to my uh, onion skinning here. If I draw over those legs really quickly, you go forward. They're always in the same spot. It might have been cool to get a step in there. I know this is so much more work. It's already a pain in CG. <clears throat> so if I add my onion skinning here and draw those lines, Quickly, you can see the legs are always in the same position. That's a super picky note. Again, uh, it's already a pain to do a sidestep in CG, so let alone uh, stop motion. But maybe on that turn, there could have been something where is it just kind of a test? Is it looking for something? Could have been a a uh, potential lean over for this, or ready to shoot and anticipates the recoil and is ready to shoot and you have that type of thing or you know maybe that type of thing here we got your contraposter here blah 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 and then ding ding when this happens or it goes back to the cleaning back to straight and then when this happens again a bit more of that now this is probably also the limitation of the toy there's only this you can do there's probably not a way to bring that leg over straight and then move this out i don't know and again not being a stop motion animator, the, the pain involved in all this, I'm completely ignorant when it comes to that. Just visually, it would have been cool, so it's not completely stuck always there. And on the squat down, I mean, this is nice. It has a nice little slight lift and foot roll, whatever you want to call it. You know, like this is a limitation of the toy, but it's nice. You might argue it gets a bit twins, but then again, what else can you do? Maybe you could have done a pivot off of this so that when this happens, that it's actually it went into a turn where it's more like this. This looks like someone's taking his own bathroom, but you know, a uh, a balanced version of this. But then you would have maybe a nice curve. That curve of the back would be nice. This is a nice clean silhouette. Who knows if you rotate this around, how complicated this silhouette would be. So again, is it really needed? And it's nice and clean. I like it. Now, the thing I really like is look at the time it takes to grab the phone. Ready? And ding ding. Oh, let me see. Room. I love this. Just because it's not just let me go back and bring it back out. A to B or just quick. There is a feeling of I'm going to go back there and of course the the cloth um conveniently disappears. But it feels like it goes up, anticipates to put the hands into a pocket right there. But then there's a hold. And it's almost like the hold of, well, the hand's there now. Now i got to grab the phone and now I'm going to pull it out. It doesn't feel rushed to me. It feels like a really nicely timed, huh? yeah, just that. The hold to grab and then the pull, even that has a move in the chest over. It just feels really nice. I also like the idea that there's a hidden pocket, given that this is all hard surface shell for the suit. I don't, I just like, oh, it's this moment. Yeah, just... It's that pause. And to me, just those couple frames, right? What, what do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, four to five, depending if you count this. Just that is enough to sell the idea of, <laughs> yeah, just for that. I love it. That's, I know it's maybe it's a silly thing, but I love that detail. I love that moment. It really sells the whole pocket idea. 
then with that pull bringing that chest over it's great and again i love the subject matter i love all of this this just speaks to me and i'm you know i dare i say i, I haven't finished these to the end uh but i love these um yeah i'm a big fan of the game i love this presentation it's great the animation is super cute the sound is funny and uh that's that short and sweet and i, I love it Alrighty, let's play this in full, of course, and there's sound. <laughs> the end cracked me up, so I, I picked it. This is all the cute stuff in there. But I love that it freaks out. And also love that the eyes get bigger. And then as it goes back in, it's not just let me hide. The back closes. And then the whole bag <laughs> disappears. I don't know why, but this cracked me up. But I, I like the set dressing too. You know, it implies you can see all the cutting there. This is all, it's a, it's a nicely presented composition with all the things in here. And it's cute how it moves and then reveals the face a bit. And then it goes out. And as always, the disclaimer, I don't do sub motion, so I can't comment on the technique and the difficulties and all that stuff. But I just know, to me, it's really difficult whenever I have tried it way, way back. If this was animation in terms of CG and you could tweak things and blah, 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 my two cents would be, it could be cute to do a turn and hold a bit. Maybe even a blink. That could be interesting. Then it comes out. And then I think holding this for a couple more frames, just to kind of push the idea of you know it's even like the pointy thing is right behind the the tomato here and you wonder oh it's a nice day today what is going on and then there's a turn and then you have that and maybe potentially pushing this where you would have to maybe i don't, I don't know how much you could see but bring those pupils down maybe also a bit of a <gasps> like a hop again it's always a pain because then you got to have something that keeps it in the air and then you got to paint that out could also be maybe on the string like a tiny string that you just can't see for one frame but maybe just that reaction pushing that it could also be a <gasps> and then a twirl going in into that but then that that cracks me up that just i don't know why it just makes me laugh that the whole bag exits there and maybe since this is here obviously this would be rigged but it could be something where you would flatten those and then on the, oh, it seems like that does happen here. I was going to say, move them way up. But it seems like that happened. And there's even a trail and a track there. Maybe, yeah, that's already in there. Because if I look at this, it's not like the perspective changes. No, 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 no. That was added. So that there you go. I was going to add that. Say, nope, that's there. So lots of really cute stuff. You can go more dark and have some of the juice out here and make this more of a murder scene and some stuff here but i don't know. i think this is super cute the idea is super cute i mean it's technically a horrific idea right but i like how it's executed and again that whole bag exit just makes me laugh so yeah short and sweet i love all of this uh and that's that for me let's play this one in full of course there's sound And as you can tell, it loops, ends here, starts there. It's really great. I'm going to turn off the sound. As always, disclaimer, I'm not a stop motion animator, so I can't evaluate the, uh, <laughs> the technique behind it, if it's good or bad or anything. To me, this looks great. But again, you know, you got to imagine where this comes from. But I'm always a big fan when you have uh, actual human elements, not just objects, but it still looks stop motion-y. But from an animation point of view, I like that. The contrast of this, right? We're here, but it goes up and this tip is dragging. This goes up, then goes up, but then angles in a different area with a little bit of a drag with the tip there to push this down to cut this. It's cool, two over one frame. Of course, nicely uh, over one frame. You see all the other cuts in there for this, but it's nice. I like the... That the timing of this I really like because you got that roll and then up slight hold 
and then drop. So watch that in real time. And swing, doom. Just that. Nice rhythm. Then you got that little slide off this section here. What is that? A fork? I can't tell. I wonder what this is here. It must be that lights to illuminate the scene. It's moving the set, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but I like it. And it's cute, especially how then it moves into a creature that looks like a swan. Although a swan would have a longer neck, but whatever. I don't know. Swan. Duck. Apple duck. Apple swan. <laughs> But it's great, but also again, the rhythm of this with a little bit of a stop, but also comes towards us. I was a big fan of using depth in a scene and not just being kind of stuck in put. So you use left and right, but also out into the scene and coming back. I think that's cool there. And then as it goes back, oh, this is frame by frame here. It was up there, it was a fork. Nicely rounded, so you can get up there and then blip over one frame back into the apple roll. Let me see the roll in real time. I see even that. It rolls and then overshoots a bit and then comes back into the same position because now I'm looping boop, into this. Boop. And then you can play this again. It's really cool. Again, I'm not a specialist in terms of what the technique was used and what you could do better in terms of, you know, all that good stuff. But that's really neat. If I look at the background and the folds, it seems to be all the same. And given that the light, whatever this is, stays put, I would assume that these are the objects that are also moving to imply a camera move. That is my guess, my very uneducated <laughs> guess. But that's that. So these are short and sweet. Critiques are short and sweet. Again, not. There's actually, in terms of animation and anything that I would do differently, let's pretend this was in CG. I, I can't really say anything. The only thing maybe if we are saying these are wings of a duck or a swan to me, then I would say maybe at this part, it would be interesting. They do trail, but then there could have been something where maybe they go up, which would be a pain to do because these are just placed. So there would have been something where maybe you have to stick them or something for a little flap or something where you have, let me see, because you go forward, shroom, trail, shroom, trail, shroom, trail. So it's good that it's on threes, but it has an ever so slight and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's not a waltz <laughs> where that is maybe even. So that could have been maybe the third one, a change of timing and maybe even with a little flare with the wings to go up for some extra timing contrast and animation body pose contrast, Apple contrast. Uh, and that is that again, that's a super picky and I always feel bad for Critiquing something I'm not doing that I would never be able to do that well. So I believe it at that. Uh, again, it's a really, really cool example and a great submission. Alrighty, another one with sound. I love it. <laughs> this cracks me up. I love that one. So for those that have sound, there's a, a crashing, then a person screaming, and then what? Something happened. Da, da, da. Let me change into superhero mode and then go over there. It's so cute. I love this, this whole setup. You got your cute backgrounds. I love this weird looking flying creature. It's so cute. I love this here. That's why I want to go frame by frame. What is going on? You got to stretch out on those arms. Then you got a whirlwind type of thing, stretching, you see the eyes. And then goes into a different color, into that new outfit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I like this. That's really neat. Boop, into that with a, let me see here. So you got the wings and then wings plus extra. Wings for awesomeness. Gets ready, flies off and even has this here again a disclaimer i don't do stop motion i don't know this being so sharp here i don't know this must be in comp added as a post effect since you got transparency and all unless this has been uh cut out but then you have a bit of a blur as it seems who knows again this to me seems like an added effect but it's super cute i love how it comes in <laughs> into that it's just it's I so love it. It's like most Muppet style when they have those big eyes and just the mouth open. Yeah. And then like the change into Ooh, what is over there? And then you have even that little look before the transformation. Huh? Wall eyed. 
He's ready. He means business. Even here, he got a mouth change from to mm, press lips out. Let me see. Just checking. Since there's already so much detail. I knew it. See, there's another change here. Lots of detail here. It's great. So if I be picky, and again, as I always uh, say in all of these uh, stop motion critiques, it's weird for me to critique anything stop motion because I don't do it and I would never be able to do any of this. What I would say, this, as I always say, this is my disclaimer. This was CG, what I would tweak. Color of the background, it does not do with the animation, but color so you have a cleaner silhouette of that leg just for clean visibility. It's a bit better through here, but it's nice when you see that here. Also nice with the lighting, a bit of a rim here. So maybe that could be pushed here lighting wise to see this, just throwing that out there. And then pose wise, animation wise, actually I didn't even see this. I love this, that it, he looks this way and you have the drag here. <laughs> but maybe instead of having the body always up, 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 that's kind of the general thing that I'm seeing, even through all of this. And then there's the exit. There's a slight tilt, but it still goes up. I know he points or it points this way, but if I be picky, I would say it could be fun for the entrance to be like this, eyes here, could still be dragging, could still be looking to the left, so that this is more of a rip, a change here, they can maybe a bit of a little overshoot settle there. And then when you have this, even go, oh, what is that? A slight bigger lean. It's like, what did I hear? Oh, 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 like visually, like, oh. not doing this, I mean, but for the person to go, oh, what was over there? And then you can go back into this straight pose. So you go from here to here into all of this. But I like how this goes down, 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 up, up, up in a different position, right? So if we do onion skinning here, this is the position here. And you can see this position there. So there is change throughout as it goes down into this. So this I love that that, that is happening here. And then the same thing there. When you prepare, it would be all right, which I love here. It lets the patient going over, down. But then it feels like that's the point. It would be cool. Let me frame through it. This is an adjustment in the hand to not go this way. But imagine this would stay. So onion's getting back on. Hold on. Let me turn everything off. This is here. That the body actually tilts. And maybe the legs come together for a streamlined version here. Wings out to exit more this way. That would be kind of cool. There is a change. You know, there is this into that. It does come together. It could be potentially closer. There's also a bit of a stretch, which is nice. So there's a lot of nice stuff. Again, to me, this is all super picky from someone who doesn't do so much. But that is that. It's really fun. I love the design. This is really inventive. I love this here. And I love how the twirl stays for a little bit. And then we're back into this. It's really cute. I love it. Um, and that's that. Alrighty, let's play this in full first. <laughs> what cracks me up about this is that it's like a violent death scene from Among Us. But then you have... Just that. Yeah. And then, ah, oh, eyes out. Here, let me turn off the sound. Now, this is stop motion, and I am not a stop motion animator. I'm going to preface this for all of these. But I really like that one. I think the setup is really cute. I like that side hop. The, that, just in terms of how they're built, what they look like, you know what they are. They're super cute. Get a little camera move as well. Probably in post, I would assume, to be less brutal. But I don't see any like crazy shape changes and flickering. Again, like I, this is like me, old school uh, stop motion. There's all these problems that I'm thinking of. It seems so clean. The uh, flickering of the camera with the lights, all that's great. You got your anticipation there. Rrr, squash into this, which is funny. I like the change of style with all of this. You know, also, you still got the, the wool background here, which is really cute. The native stuff. Then you got... Spikes coming out. You can clearly read that. I like the little bounce. And whoop, -dong -dong. super cute. And then at the end, <laughs> eyes go out. And then the guy on the left. I like that. I like that walk out. Little we'll hop there. Ding. Like how high this goes. It's really cute. 
yeah, it's short and sweet. I think if I'd be super picky, and I this is weird because I don't do stop motion, but uh, maybe there's a specific reason that I'm missing why it's hopping exactly sideways. It's always looking this way. Also with the hearts here, it's probably because I see my little one playing the game, but I haven't played it. So maybe that's a specific thing of how they get in. I'm not sure. But maybe would have been looking, you know, these eyes looking this way and then with a bit of a turn. That's like the only thing I would say. Because then you have the other one, the cute reaction, because it's not repeated. It's not this is your position A jumps up to position B and back to A. This goes from this to here with a turn down to C, like a different position. I think there's a lot of great contrast in terms of posing. Even this with that, they go down this way. Doesn't stay in place. There's just a lot of cool stuff there. So short and sweet, that's all I have. I really, really like this, it's super cute. And you got sound there as well. It's overall a really nice package. Alrighty, let's play this in full. There is sound. There you go. And there we go. And it loops. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn off that sound. And it's cute, I like it. I like the portal idea. It's actually cute when you go and it starts to go in. Whoop, the head already appears. Now looking at this, again, disclaimer, I don't, I don't do stop motion, so I'm not gonna be able to give you any type of insightful technique. I, it's more like I have questions. Given that this is like this, right? <clears throat> Unless there's a light through this, maybe. I, I don't see the you know any influence here on the light. This shadow feels like it's been added. Wait, 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 wait. Let's frame through it. Maybe faster than framing through it. There you go. So that I'm assuming added in post. It looks a bit cut out. And these are just added. And this is just a an a comped background. In my limited knowledge of this whole setup, this is my guess. But I like the presentation, it's nice and clean. This all makes total sense. It's very catchy in terms of the colors that are somewhat complementary colors there as well. Right here, your red and the blue. And it's cute. Got a little slide going backwards. I know there's not much else I can say. If I will, if it's, this was CG and I were looking at just regular timing stuff and contrast and stuff like that, I would probably say when the creature here, this reminds me of my kids show that I used to watch back then. I can't remember the name. When this falls down, -doing, it might be slower on the up and then go boom, 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 just to have more contrast in the time. So it's not up, left, right, left, right, go. So it's these back and forth are not so even and repeated. Super picky. Not that they're extremely even. If I go, oh, it's painful to watch me do this. This, well, let's go over here. And then we have onion skinning. See, it's not completely even. There is a change. So there is contrast, but as a whole, I would love for it to be more. Like uh, Adam Driver would say, more! But it's something where, to me, even though the distance changes, as you can see there, I feel like with the timing, I see a speed up, but it just, it just feels still even. I know it's a weird comment to give, even though it has contrast and it does speed up. I would love for it to be pushed in terms of the contrast, where it, it's, you know, it might be painful, it might be disorienting to go the blah, 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 and then maybe even, what is he doing here? He doesn't overshoot, so it could be something like that. So it'll overshoot there and then really slow and go back in there. That could be something. Even on the back in maybe you could do something where you hold this for a bit longer and then you go up but then you go down first little squash up for a stretch stretch into it's always a bit of a launch again technique wise you would have to have this something on a stick back there and then comp this out do not see it i'm saying this because it would be cute to have this in the air it's almost like launching itself whip, into the hole there for this that would kind of also give us the sense of speed jumping up and then dropping into this into that super picky again uh i always feel weird giving um stop motion notes but it's a it's a cute clip i like it it's short and sweet critique short and sweet that's all i have and uh yeah i like that submission all righty let's play this in full this time there is no sound coming in 
Boom. There you go. Now, when I was watching this, at first I was going, wait, 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 wait. Is this like a toll booth giving out a coin or something? But then I'm going, wait a minute, he grabs this and then he throws it and then he goes after. This must be like a pet thing bringing back something. Because it's already in its mouth or whatever you want to call this. So <laughs> I had to watch this a couple times. Like, what am I looking at? What is going on? But it's cute. I really like this here. The transformation into really nice. Just that. All the shapes totally work. They will come, come. That's why I was also slightly confused. Is this maybe too slow? Like, I wasn't, I'm not, I'm still not quite sure if I'm getting what this is supposed to be. Because then you would always expect this is, if this is a dog, maybe there would be, instead of that side tilt, it would pivot from here and the butt will go left and right, like pretending it's a butt wiggle. But then this is cute. Clearly there's something going on in excitement. And then that to me is just, to me at least a tip off while they throw. Well, now they're excited and I love this here. I love that. It's even inside the wheels. It's not just back there. You can see it's in there. Goes out. And you can almost say it has a little bit of a like a drag. That speed of the car pulls the thing over a little bit and then it comes back. It's super cute. Yeah, that's the only thing I would say. But I like seeing all the detail. And again, this stuff like that, because I do have cars around and you know, Sculpey and Clay, stuff like that. It would be really fun to do. Every time I see stop motion, I feel like that would be really cute to do. Because I like the the lean there. But interesting if that could be broken. You know, this would be obviously a toy you would have to break. But we're almost that tire could stay flat or flattened here. Like, you know, like how far can you push models and tweak things? But I like that it has actually all the separation between the uh, the top part, the chassis here. And then when the door closes, that's kind of neat. I like all of that. Maybe, yeah, if this was CG, if I think it's always, again, I'm not a stop motion animator, so I can't really confidently say what you should do and do better, whatever. If this was CG, that's my disclaimer in all of these stop motion critiques. The excitement here, it starts here, goes up here, goes back down here, goes back up there. I like the contrast of now opening this, but maybe it could have been interesting to, just for contrast, the wheels, do my onion skidding here, the wheels are here. Properly drawn. There you go. Go up and you know be here. That's fine. But then lands. And now it's gonna say more to the right, which it is doing here, but more. <laughs> as I think I think I said that in the previous critique. More! Just pushing that idea further. Because technically it's there. Like even this here. Let me go back to the first up. See that first up is a bit lower. So there is slight contrast. This one is a bit lower, but it's just somewhat in the same position. This one seems fairly similar. And then again, this one seems fairly similar. So to me, it feels like, well, we could push this. By we, I mean the Royal We, where he's doing all the work here. That if you go there, but I do like this a slight change there, it'll move. But to go from this wheel here, land here, go here, land here, just really a, a big excitement. And maybe you start small, and then as it continues, the contrast gets bigger just because of the excitement. And maybe this here could have because I like the it starts, but why not? It could be pushed cartoony where it actually goes back a bit. And maybe even, be a tricky to do, but down. But then the butt goes up a bit. And then it goes down bang, into like a bang. And then and then this starts into an exit. Maybe, again, I feel we're giving those notes. <laughs> but it's cute. I like it. I like this. Little, all of that. I still like the, the wormy quality of it has an ever so slight um the abyss feel if this was water but it's cute i like it yeah i mean that's that that's my uh strange non-stop motion critique and uh i'll leave it at that